So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another how-to video. Today, I shall teach you how to how to how I create my Want Some Jesus podcasts. So, today I shall show you how I make my Want Some Jesus podcasts. So, first of all, we shall begin with a bit of software called Audacity. Link in the description to download this. So, always, you, this is so far the only alternative that I've found to this kind of software that will not require you to pay. So click open and here's all my material. I'm currently at episode 249. I'll double click that and I'll launch this. So the thing about Audacity is that it's not the most user friendly. It's a bit complex and some things might be counterintuitive. So if you can understand Chinese, then you're welcome along to listen. If you cannot, then never mind. Just look at how just look at how this is. 各位亲爱的朋友, 大家晚上好, 欢迎您再次收听, so let's say I want to cut out everything before 14 seconds. So press and hold down on the right mouse button and move your mouse right. So drag all the way to zero seconds and click this snippy snippy button, cut. So now, I've eliminated everything from zero seconds onwards. 我是与你同行的伊利亚, yes, there you go. Now, if you want to cut out something in the middle, let's say from 23 seconds to 26 seconds, drag like so, and click the little scissor button here. In case you're wondering how I'm doing this fancy zoom in and zoom out thing, it's pinching on your mouse pad if you're on a laptop like I am. If you're not, then you have to use these buttons, zoom out and zoom in. So now that I've gotten the edits that I need, click File, Click export, export as WAV. This is important because of the audio modifier thing. So write a name that you want and click save. These are the details. If you want to enter them, I suggest for the sake of the audio modifier, just delete everything that's inside here. Wait for it to export. And you are done for the first stage. Note that the website name is irrelevant. It's called Stake Underwater. So don't worry, it's, it seems legit. So this reactor application, you need it basically. So click here to download the installer. Do note that this is an add-on for DaVinci Resolve. So please get Resolve finished 
then get reactor and then I'll teach you how to do a bit more with it later. So now that we've done that, let's go to DaVinci Resolve. So now that we've done that, let's go to DaVinci Resolve. Normally when you first launch it, they'll ask you to go and update everything and whatnot. Norm, and then you have to log in, download, whatever. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. ETC, ETC. Mm. Do note that a loading page is very, 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 very... This, the loading page takes a long time. So as you can see here, I have a few projects that have gone on. Mm. Untitled project, how to register in Unimas, and my previous one, some Jesus podcasts. So click new project, name your projects. Name your project, sorry. And you will be launched if you get the settings right into the cut area. So the thing with DaVinci Resolve is that if you, it, it has this ability to change layout to other more well-known layouts. So for example, if, you're, if you are a former Adobe Premiere Pro user, then it'll change its format to match more or less Premiere Pro. So what I have here is a DaVinci Resolve default layout, so it might look a bit different. So here, um, where's my folder number two? Select your folder. Why is it so big? Oh well, it's that big. So select your folder and drag it down here. Uh-oh, some lag. No, 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 no. So once you've done that, so once you've done that, go to edit. In here, drag your audio down to this playlist type thing. And the first thing you have to do, because if we go back to Audacity, you'll realize that after about 1 minute and 23 seconds, there is absolutely nothing in the... I think this is the left ear. I think the audio file has been corrupted somehow. So, come here and right-click. Clip attributes. Go to audio and go to embedded channel one. Click because number one, as you can see, is on top. Number two is on the bottom. So let's run the test. Make sure it's on both earbuds. Make sure that you hear your music playing on both earbuds or earphones or both speakers. Now that we've fixed that issue, it's time to get cracking. The first thing you have to do is open your toolbox, go to titles, find text, put it in the video one section all the way at the start. So here you can adjust the zoom. That's what you want to see. And then you can put two fingers on your mouse pad and drag it, oh come on, and drag it left and right. So, 
as you can see on my previous one, some Jesus, there's words on the top and on the bottom. So double click this to select it. And then I shall change this text to one, some Jesus pod. Nope. Casts. Don't forget to change it. Hold up. Don't forget to change it to, um, what is this? I don't know, middle orientation. And this is a very common error that you'll see when you use DaVinci Resolve. You make some changes to the text, but nothing appears here on the main video display. So what you have to do is click anywhere on this timeline, like so, and you'll see this has spawned. This is because this red, this red line represents what's displayed up here. So if I drag the red line here, there'll only be music or Mr. Elijah's voice playing with no text. Do be aware of this. We, this will be useful later on. So we continue to edit this. We push it all the way up to the top. And then we put with God's help bracket. Mm. Mm. Mandarin. So I shall ch should have done this earlier actually. I'll change this to ink free font. I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen, but never mind. I'm sorry about that. OBS just has its limitations and resolution. And I can't I can't exactly record in 4K. So now you'll see what I'm doing is actually moving my mouse to the edge here until I see this little icon. So I'll click and drag. And just keep wiggling your mouse like this until you reach the point that you want. Or if you want a bit of a life hack, you can click this button to zoom out. Move your mouse until you get about here. Click and hold. Click, hold and drag all the way out to the end. Boom. There we go. That's the first step. Now, every single frame of your video has a top and bottom <coughs> title things. So the next step is to use the text plus function. We do the same to that and we zoom in a little bit. We drag out until it's visible on the So now we double click this to select it and we it we highlight this to the and change it to the host's name. Before we change it to the host's name, change the text font to ink free. And type in Mr. Elijah. So the next thing you want to do is grab this and drag it to the right. Once it's reasonably long enough, click this button to zoom out and drag it all the way to the finish. So now every step of the way, there are three bits of text. So double click the text plus function again and go to the fusion tab. Now, this is where things get a little complex. If you've installed the Reactor software, according to the video link in the top right corner that I'll put in, or in the description, you can find it in both places, you should be able to come here and right click and click modify with audio bracket WAV. So click this 
and go to modifiers and click browse. Select the same audio file. In this case, we've got help number two. Click open. Wait for it to load and you are done. So do note that you normally have to use unsigned median for stuff like this. Also, you remember the issue earlier that we had with music playing only in the right earbud or the left earbud, I'm not sure. So find the channel that has permanent music, permanent voice, yeah, something like that. And click play. As you can see, both will give us nothing. Click stop, click right. Keep on testing, gives us nothing. Click left, yes. So with our testing, we can find out that the main, the main voice is coming from the left channel. Use left and change the amplitude offset to the size that you desire. With amplitude offset set to zero, it means that the base size when there's no when there is no noise at all is actually zero. This amplitude offset changes the base the original size of the words. Amplitude scale changes the amount that the words flicker in and out. So if you want less flicker, just stick with one. If you want more flicker, you can jack this all the way up to seven and boom. So that's not what we want. So we'll stick with one for now. I'll just input values here. Click enter and you'll stick. So go back to edit where you've already finished everything. Let's go back for a check. Some lag here is normal, don't worry. So I think we are good to go. It's time to deliver. So I'm going to be using the YouTube 1080p format. I will name this WSJ with God help, with God's help. Please note that you probably shouldn't put an apostrophe here, so I'm not going to bother. I will save it right here. And it will automatically render as H.264, also known as MP4. Frame rate is 24. We don't have to change that because our eyes actually operate at about 20 to 27 frames per second. So add to render queue, start render, and good luck. This will take a long time. On that bombshell, good night. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.